Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Wednesday, March 13th, 2019. Well, we have very tranquil and comfortable weather conditions out there this morning. True, it's a bit chilly out there with temperatures ranging from the upper teens to lower 20s over the northern interior, lower to mid 20s in your northwestern suburbs, and upper 20s to lower 30s along the coast. Now, we do have some cold spots here and there. That's true, but hey, it's dry, it's clear, and the winds are pretty light. High pressure is in control today and will be pushing off of the Delmarva Peninsula by this afternoon, leading to winds developing out of the south as we move on through the afternoon and slightly warmer conditions with temperatures rising into the upper 40s to around 50 degrees. So overall, a very tranquil, quiet day, and you can see that with this satellite picture here. Here's our high pressure system right here, and pretty much clear skies over much of the region. We do have some high level clouds moving through and we do have a nice little trough that's going to be diving through new england that could produce an isolated shower around connecticut but that is pretty much about it for today we're going to take a look at the forecast for this upcoming seven days today pretty much tranquil again can't rule out an isolated shower over connecticut otherwise look for sky cloud cover with highs around the upper 40s to lower 50s for this evening, look for clear skies, light winds, and temperatures falling off into the mid to upper 30s as we head towards tomorrow morning. Now, we have a very impressive storm out here in the plains that's going to be lifting up towards the Great Lakes. As that storm is lifting up towards the Great Lakes, this warm front will approach in the evening hours with increasing cloud cover, but generally dry conditions throughout much of the day. Look at temperatures to rise into the upper 50s to lower 60s as we move on through the day on Thursday, mid-50s as you are sitting right along the coast. As we move on through Friday, this low pressure system will be lifting up into Canada. We'll have a warm front in the morning with some scattered showers. Temperatures will range from the upper 40s to lower 50s for lows. Then, once that warm front lifts through, we'll have temperatures ranging quite a bit, depending on the location of that warm front. To the north and east of the warm front, temperatures will basically range anywhere from the lower to mid 50s. However, once you get to the south of that warm front, temperatures are going to be jumping into the mid to upper 60s. I cannot rule out the chance for 70 degrees to show up around southern New Jersey on Friday afternoon. But then the cold front will move through late Friday afternoon into Friday evening with widespread showers, and some of those showers will be capable of some heavy downpours, and I can't even rule out an isolated thunderstorm. All of that clears out by the time we get to Saturday morning, with tranquil weather conditions for the most part. A bit breezy, cooler, but dry. Temperatures will range from the upper 30s to lower 40s for lows, and mid to upper 40s for highs. On Sunday, high pressure will be in control with sky cloud cover, lows in the lower 30s highs in the lower 40s on monday a weak low pressure will pass to the south with an isolated shower or two otherwise look for sky cloud cover lows in the mid 20s highs in the lower to mid 40s on tuesday high pressure will be in control with sky cloud cover lows in the mid 20s highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s and on wednesday high pressure will be in control with sky cloud cover Look for lows in the mid-30s, highs in the upper 30s. And then we're going to watch this low pressure system trying to develop here around the Bahamas and this little short wave diving through the southern plains. These two could interact on Wednesday evening on through the end of next week. That could produce the potential for some rain showers. My primary concern here is the threat for coastal flooding because this storm is going to be sitting out here in the Atlantic. This high pressure system is going to be lingering around the St. Lawrence River Valley. The combination of those two will produce a nice strong easterly wind coming right off the Atlantic. And even if the storm stays out in the Atlantic, that could still lead to some coastal flooding. So definitely keep an eye on that and at least have your supplies at hand if you are living right along the coast. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino, and as always, stay safe out there.